Let's talk about time. Let's talk about risk. The fact is that drafters and engineers are wasting hours of their time and are taking major risks because they unknowingly mismanage their CAD data. You know, I'm talking about laborious title block data entry, tedious version duplicates when you're and rework and you know, litigation issues in the transmittal and issuing process. Um, so that's what we're going to set out to solve today for you. Namely, how can you use 12D Synergy with Sheet Set Manager to save time and to minimize risk when you're managing your CAD data? Ultimately, so you can get more done in less time and do a lot less data entry and data management. Um, so welcome to today's Industry Solutions webinar, how to automate data entry with 12D Synergy's Sheet Set Manager integration. Um, your presenters today will be myself, Shane Machen, as well as Tim Brooks. Um, and we'll be showing you first, um, you know, how, how can you automate your data, your um, title block data entry and updating without having to write your own scripts. Um, next, we'll take a look at how to transform, um, you know, issuing it into a fully traced and trackable rock-solid process. After that, I'll show you, you know, how can you eliminate version duplicates and rework when you're collaborating on your CAD drawings. Uh, and then lastly, I'll hand the reins over to Tim, and he'll give you, and he'll showcase 12 Synergy's Sheet Set Manager integration and plugin for you live. Um, but before all that, let's just do some really brief housekeeping. So you can ask questions throughout the webinar. Please ask them. We'll also ask you guys questions as well. To get involved, simply type your question or answer in the questions panel as shown on the screen. Um, if we run out of time and can't answer your questions, no need to stress. We'll get back to you as soon as we can after the webinar to answer your questions. And if you miss anything along the way, don't stress. I'll be sending out a recording of this session uh, in the email follow-up. So you can, you know, get up to speed with everything you've missed today. Great. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. So Sheets at Manager is you know, a great tool for organizing and grouping the sheets within your projects, you know, when you have a relatively small number of them. It also acts as a quick access panel for opening your drawings. But most importantly, Sheet Set Manager allows you to update your attributes and plot your sheets without having to open every separate DWG. And this is a massive time saver for you. However, the reality is that using Sheet Set Manager alone is still fairly clunky with, you know, it's with, with its many inconveniences, challenges, and risks. And this is what we're going to talk to you today about. You know, we'll, go, we'll go through these risks one by one, and we'll show you how you can solve it with 12D Synergy. But before that, uh, I just want to ask you guys a couple of questions just to get a better picture of you know, um, what you do and who you are, and so then that can help us tailor the content for you, you know, as, in, for this webinar. So first, uh, how many of you are using Sheet Set Manager? If you are, type yes. If you're not, type no. Great. Looks like we've got quite a few yeses coming through. That's really good to see. All right. Now, next, what challenges are you facing managing your CAD data? It could be things, you know, as I as I mentioned earlier, you know, title blocks, version duplicates, all that. And lastly. What are you hoping to get out of today? You know, what motivated you to register and attend? Cool. So I'm going to start with something that you know, all drafters universally loathe above all else, and that is title block data entry. You know, there's no question at all about it. Title blocks are a major pain. It doesn't matter if you're using Sheet Set Manager; it's still really painful. They're time-consuming the tedious, the error prone, and yet they're a super important aspect of draft that you need to get 100% correct. Thankfully for you in Sheet Set Manager, 
you can update your title blocks without having to open, load, save and close every single DWG file and layout. And this, as I mentioned earlier, is a good time saving. The problem is, is that Sheet Set Manager doesn't eliminate the data entry. Even with Sheet Set Manager, title blocks are still a very manual and very risky process. So the workflow for updating and managing your title blocks with Sheet Set Manager looks like this. First, you select a sheet in your Sheet Set Manager toolbar. You then um, select you know, um, a title block property, you type it out. You select the next one, you type it out. You select the next one, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then you select your next, and you repeat for however many sheets and DWGs you have. You know, if you have 10, 20, 30, 50 sheets in that project, then you're looking at you know what could easily be hours of data entry, especially if you're doing multiple attributes in every single sheet. So let's say, for instance, your project has 25 sheets, and throughout the life of the project, each sheet gets revved up five times. And every time it revs up, five title block changes are required. Now, this is pretty standard. Very quickly, you're looking at 625 title blocks that need to be updated. And this can take you hours. And if you do 5, 10, 15, you know, 25 projects a year, you could be talking you know, days of mind-numbing data entry. You, know, you have to just grind out you know, title block after title block after title block. Uh, not only is this incredibly boring and tedious, but it's also really error prone. Um, it's all too easy to make mistakes when you're you know, typing everything out manually, you know, spelling errors occur, drawings get skipped, incorrect information can be used. You know, really, the risk is inevitable when you do things manually. So clearly, Sheet Set Manager you know, isn't the best way or isn't the solution for managing your title blocks. So what is? Another option is to manage your title blocks using Lisp routines, scripts, and an Excel drawing register. These tools minimize the data entry for you and also automates the title block updating. It's a lot easier and faster to update your title blocks because it, it is all the updating occurs in an Excel drawing register. And here you get you know, copy and paste, formulas, drag and drop, and you can use these to do most of the heavy lifting for you. Once you update the cells or your title blocks in the Excel drawing register, it will then a Lisp routine will then go ahead and update your title blocks mechanically, you know, opening, saving and closing each DWG to perform the update. And this saves you time, reduces errors and eliminates tedious work for you. However, the cruel reality is that most companies using Sheet Set Manager are small to medium sized and they lack you know, the in-house skills, spare capacity, time and money to create and fine tune their own scripts and drawing registers. And so really this has left you in limbo where you've been unable to sort of automate the data entry in title blocks, leaving you to be stuck with you know, doing it completely manually for some or with Sheet Set Manager for the lucky ones. Uh, the good news, there's an even easier, more accurate, and faster way to update your title blocks that doesn't require any scripts or coding or Excel. And this is 12D Synergy's Title Block Manager. Um, so our Title Block Manager helps you easily and quickly change attributes on any block quickly, you know, whether in AutoCAD, BricsCAD or Civil 3D on dozens, hundreds or thousands of drawings at a time. Uh, we have an inbuilt drawing register in our software so you don't have to go ahead and you know, create one in Excel but better, 12 Synergy can will interrogate your drawings and will automatically pull out the attributes within them and then it will use these attributes to populate your drawing register so there's no data entry you know, built in that drawing register. 12 Synergy also pushes the updates in your title blocks without having to open any DWGs, and this is a humongous time saver. Uh, it also requires, you, know, you, know, you don't have to fiddle around with any coding or scripts. It's already built into the software, and this saves you time and money. 
but better, all the updating occurs silently in the background, so you aren't forced to wait and watch DWGs open and close you know, for 10, 20, 30 minutes as you would with a Lisp routine. Um, so how this works is, first you update your cell in our drawing register, uh, and then you can use you know, automatic you know, incrementing or you know, drag and drop copy and paste to you know, mass that change. Then you close the drawing register and that's it, done. Now all the changes are pushed to your DWGs in less than one and a half seconds per each title block. To give you a better idea of that speed, I mentioned previously you know, 625 title blocks that need to be updated. For Toy Dissinji that will take you around 15 minutes, which is the time of a coffee break, when before we were talking about your know, hours. So Toy Dissinji allows you to achieve consistency across all your title blocks. It lets you easily manage all your title blocks within one central location, your drawing register. It's also hassle-free and super easy to use. Without the hassles you know, of having you know, to code, run scripts, and create and maintain your own CSV file. It's also much easier, faster, and safer than Sheet Set Manager because our drawing register minimizes that data entry. Alright, let's move on. So another major issue with the Sheet Set Manager is the risk of litigation when issuing your drawings to clients. So often clients still require the formal issuing of all the project's IP, so you know all the sheets, drawings, and XREFs at the end of the project. And this process you know, has been seriously neg neglected by a lot of companies. You know, many organizations have spent months you know, building elaborate sheets that managers, drawing registers, and scripts, and yet they still issue their drawings you know, through a risky Windows Explorer environment, you know, they email it or they use a third-party cloud service um, such as Dropbox. Uh, so how are you issuing um, your CAD drawings to your clients? And next, uh, how are you generating your transmittals? Uh, do you face any challenges with this? Okay, uh, so the workflow for issuing looks like this. First, you plot your sheets, and generally that's you know A3 PDF, uh, and then you copy your PDFs to an issued files folder, and normally this is kept on a network drive, so everyone has central access to it. Then you go ahead and create your transmittals. You can do that from from Sheets at Manager, from you know in Microsoft Word manually, and that just includes you know what you're sending to who you know, the issue numbers of all those drawings. Next, you zip it up in Windows Explorer, and then you issue it out. You know, you can either post the hard drive, you can email it, or if it's too big for email, you can send through software such as um, Dropbox or OneDrive. So there's two major issues with this workflow. The first one is between producing the drawings and the client actually receiving them, there's a major black hole of information, a deadly blind spot. Between this, you know, there's no information, it's all unknown. And this can really come back to bite you in the butt if you find yourself in a dispute because you don't have any information to back yourself up. I'm sure you've all heard it before, you know, the I didn't receive that file. So a party can dispute, you know, that the wrong versions were sent, they were sent late, or they weren't received at all. You know this isn't true. You remember sending it out, but you don't have any record to prove it. And yeah, and this can you know mean disaster if you're in a legal dispute with that client. The second issue is creating your transmittal document and the risks of errors in that, as well as you know sending the wrong documents. So. Um, creating your transmittal document is a very complex, manual, and error-prone procedure if you don't have any scripts to automatically generate it for you. There's lots of fields in there that need updating and you know, to be um, maintained throughout the life of the project, and it's really, it's really easy to make mistakes here You know when you're talking about issue numbers, dates, all that information. And mistakes here not only will be embarrassing for you and your company, 
but it can also cause problems down the line you know, if you find yourself in a you know, legal dispute. Torby Synergy's issuing and publishing really bridges this blind spot of information I mentioned earlier, and it makes the process highly controlled, highly controlled and rock solid with complete accountability and traceability. So your data is kept safe on the server and is securely downloadable straight from a private download link on your web browser. You know the simplicity really is brilliant. You know rather than sending it through a third party and looking and you know, and putting, sending your data overseas just to just to send it to your client. So 12D Synergy tracks the full process. You know, logging you know, when the link was sent out, what 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 they received, what you sent, who downloaded it, and when. You can also further lock this down with including a password and expiry date on the issued files. Um, and the downloads page that you send it through is fully customizable in 12D Synergy. So you can add your own you know, company logos, company headers, all that. So you can really customize it and personalize it. And it makes it look really, really professional for the client. But better, all the information in your transmittals, for example, the recipient, authorizer, version numbers, files included, file names, they're all automatically populated from the attributes within 12D Synergy. And this, you know, provides further time savings and also reduces risks because once again we're eliminating that data entry. So Tw Synergy also ensures that you're always sending the right versions um, of all the files for our version control system as well as pr providing that you have central access to all the files you need because they're kept on a centralized master server. Um, you can also file all your email correspondence with the client regarding the issued um, the issuing and transmittal process to that particular job in 12D Synergy and you, know, you no longer have really important project emails lost on you know, someone's mailbox or just um, deleted or, or any of that. So it really you know, locks down, simplifies and automates as much as possible you know, the process of, of issuing out your drawings to the client. Another problem with using Sheets App Manager is that it doesn't protect you from version duplicates and rework um, and these issues really are inevitable when you're collaborating in sort of a free-for-all trust-based Windows Explorer environment. Uh, especially, you know, this is both among your office as, and when you're collaborating across multiple offices. So 12 Synergy really stops this issue by providing full version control for all file types with a rock solid centralized check in check out environment. And this really ensures that you're always working on the latest version of the file and it prevents you know, two drafters from making edits to the same drawing at the same time. 12 Synergy also gives you version control for your Sheets at Manager DST file. Um, and it records the full history of all edits made to that file, you know, who, what, when, and why. And so you get that full history, you can see exactly what, what's happened to the file. And if you need to, you can um, click rollback and you can go back to a previous version of your Sheets App Manager if you need to. And this is done you know, with a simple click of the button. You don't have to, you know, wrangle in IT and get them to go searching for, you know, long lost backup hard drives. So it really is a major time saver. It also minimizes rework because you no longer make these mistakes. And when you're no longer making these mistakes and you know doing things you know, two or three times over, it means that you're maximizing your productivity because you do it right the first time. To help you seamlessly you know, work between Sheets at Manager and 12D Synergy, uh, we've developed a plugin and toolbar. I'll now pass it over to Tim Brooks and he'll walk you through everything you need to know about you know, how to use the plugin and what it does. Cool, so over to you, Tim. Thanks Shane. Hi everyone and thanks for coming along to our webinar today. For those that don't already know me, my name is Tim Brooks and I'll be demonstrating 12D Synergy's Sheet Set Manager plugin for AutoCAD. This plugin and toolbar, which you can see in the AutoCAD ribbon, enables you to seamlessly manage your sheets and sheet sets, including your DST file in 12D Synergy and without disrupting your current workflows. Also, without having to jump in and out of AutoCAD 
which you have to do if you're managing your sheet sets in Windows Explorer or another DMS. This plugin has a range of features which I'll walk you through today. So firstly, it allows us to push sheet sets from AutoCAD into 12D Synergy. To do this, select the Add Sheet Set to 12D Synergy button, then select the sheet set you want to add. I'll then name my sheet set and hit Save. 12D Synergy will prompt you to choose a location. I'll create a new folder within my CAD sheet sets job. The 12D Synergy plugin also lets you open a sheet set from 12D Synergy. First, I'll select Open Sheet Set and then navigate to a sheet set's location in 12D Synergy and select my sheet set.dst file. This sheet set has now appeared in the Sheet Set Manager palette. 12D Synergy will lock the sheet set whenever you don't have the sheet set file checked out. This prevents editing of the sheet set properties to make sure your team are always working on the latest sheet set. You can see 12D Synergy has greyed out the edit options. To edit this sheet set, we'll first need to check it out. This can be done from within AutoCAD by selecting Check Out Sheet Set under the 12D Synergy Sheet Set Manager ribbon. The sheet sets will now be editable. Once you have finished making changes to the sheet set, you can check it back in using the Check In Sheet Set button on your ribbon. Once checked in, other users who have that sheet set open will receive a notification that the changes have been made and will be prompted to download the latest version of it. This ensuring everyone in your team is always working on the latest sheet set version. The plugin also lets you import your layouts as a sheet. To do this, browse to the file with the layout you wish to add. Enter a sheet title, description, and sheet number. And select the layouts you want to include. Once you click Create, the sheet will now appear in the Sheet Set Manager. To set the default sheet used in your sheet sets, Come up to your ribbon and select Set Default Sheet Layout. Next, select the sheet set you want to apply it for from 12D Synergy. Once again, select the file with the layout and then select it. To rename and renumber sheets, instead of using the right click rename and renumber from the AutoCAD Sheet Set Manager, you can use the 12D Synergy ribbon and this will allow the changes to be made automatically in 12D Synergy. To do this, click on the rename and renumber sheet set button. Select the sheet set and make the changes as you would with the existing AutoCAD rename and renumber workflow. To do that, 
select a sheet and then make the changes to the layout name or file name. Click OK. If the file needs to be checked out for the changes to be made, this will happen in the background and then it will be checked back in when the changes have been made. To ensure that you have all the necessary sheet set files and to prevent pop-ups during the plotting process, before plotting you will need to enable sheet set plotting mode. To do this, click on the enable sheet set plotting process mode and select the sheet set. You can then perform your plotting and then when you are done, select disable sheet set plotting mode to turn it off. That's the overview of 12D Synergy sheet set manager plugin, which is one of the new CAD management features for 12D Synergy version 4. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the questions panel and we'll get back to you after the webinar. Thanks, Tim. I want to very briefly touch on some of the other benefits um, CAD users, specifically Sheetset Manager users, um, can get from 12D Synergy. So the first thing is intuitive file tracking of your DST file. So Sheetset Manager works off a fixed file location. And this means if you move or rename your DST file, you'll break that file path and then the Sheets that Manager will break. Um, which, and this is true for you know, XREFs as well in CAD. But with 12D Synergy, you have none of that issue because it, the system intuitively recognizes the links both between your Sheets that Manager and your drawings as well as your drawings and XREFs. Um, this means that you know, people can move, rename, break the file paths and they won't break the connections between your files. 12D Synergy also does smarter transfers. It only transfers the changed files and this saves you a lot of load on your network so that your data you know, transfers and your software runs faster. Um, with a Sheet Set Manager, you've got to work off a network drive so that everyone has central access to that DST file on the drawings. But as you may know, you know, network drives are fairly slow and clunky when you're pushing geospatial data up it. But better with 12D Synergy is it downloads the software onto your local drive, but you still have check-in, check-out. And when you work off your local drive, it's so much faster than your network because you're using the power of your local machine rather than being restricted by the bandwidth of your network. 12D Synergy is really the all-in-one solution for engineering offices. It handles all your data, you know, your 12D model, DWGs, you know, everything. And it's you know the full complete solution, but better in in the CAD data management module for 12D Synergy, you also get all the email management and document management features as well. So it really is the full solution for your office. 12D Synergy also has enforced naming conventions. So this ensures that all files on the system are appropriately named, and you can set up your own customizable naming rules to suit your company conventions. 12D Synergy also protects your folder structures so you can lock it down so people can't arbitrarily jump in and you know move, rename, delete or edit your folder structure and then you know sort of mess mess up that optimized structure that you've built. You also have full a full order history and easy rollback as I mentioned earlier for all your files. So you can see the full edit history of what's been done on the project and by who who's done what. And then you can really easily roll back to an earlier, earlier version um, if you need to or if the client you know, uh, makes a change or you need to make a change. So the recording of this webinar will be in the follow-up email. Um, make sure that you share that link around the, your office so that you can get up to speed of everything that, you've missed, that they might have missed. So today we've really only cracked the surface of what 12D Synergy can do for you. Um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about 12D Synergy's other CAD management email and document management features, feel free to book a personalized demo. Um, so to book a demo, simply type in demo in the questions panel as shown on the screen uh, and then we'll get in contact with you to arrange it all for you.
So all the CAD features showcased by Tim and I today are included in 12D Synergy's Advanced Data Management module. And in this module, you get all the other features in the system, including all our email and document management features. So it really is the full solution for you. All right, so that concludes our presentation today. Um, thank you all for attending, and we hope that you start enjoying a smarter, faster way to manage your drawings. Thank you.